Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. We had one fallout already. I can't see it. Oh, now we get another one. I think we're just going to take those. This one flipped over face up. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. Is this is some kind of vacation, whether it's a physical vacation or it's a mental vacation. Mental break, maybe, you know. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So you may be feeling tied down or frustrated. Next seven days, you need to take a little vacation. Maybe you need to retreat. This camera looks a little crooked. Let's see if I can fix it with my foot without knocking it over. I think I did it. Anyhow, what do we got for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Ooh! Rejection is God's protection. So I don't know if you've been rejected or you're about to be rejected or something like that. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, hurricane season ahead. So the card stands for itself. You know, you know what it means. It means that, you know, hurricane's kind of like a tower moment. When a hurricane comes, you never know what's going to happen. You know, there could be some major dis destruction, okay? Um, anything that's not secure or stable is probably going to get taken out. So you probably have a, a tower moment in the near future. One more. One more. P Pisces. Oh, caution. Could also be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Caution tape. Caution tape. So, you know, caution tape usually means that there's some sort of incident. So, there's probably going to be an incident. I don't know what it is, if there's like the emergency services get called or whatever, whatever. Um, it could be the ambulance or, I don't know, fire trucks, you know, caution. When I see caution tapes, there's some sort of, you know, when they bring out the caution tapes for investigations of some sort after there's been some sort of accident or something like that so yeah maybe you're gonna be involved in something where or maybe you've already been involved in this and you need to take that mental break to heal from it when there's a tower moment which obviously there's gonna be or there has been very recently I'm not talking six months ago you now we got these delusionists that wanna they don't want to believe that some shit's going to happen again well, or something new shit is coming. You know, I'm going to go back to when it happened before because I'm in denial. I'm not going to go through any more shit. <laughs> we'll wake up, okay? There's continuous shit rolling. So anyhow, um, <laughs> hurricane season is ahead. And how long does hurricane season last? I don't I mean, I don't know where you live, but where I live, it's usually like September, maybe through December. I mean, I, I'm guessing maybe in November. Anyway, and hurricanes can come at any moment. The universe is in control. If you think about the tower, tower is a universe card. So it's not over, okay? There's usually there's one hurricane, things quiet down, and then we get another hurricane, things quiet down. Sometimes they're back to back. Hurricane season is ahead. Mm. Wonderful. I got one dollar that's Pisces moon and the other is Pisces rising. Mm. 
Nine of Wands. We got somebody here that's wounded. This is a wounded warrior, right? This is somebody who has experienced some serious challenges. So you may be, this is like the next seven days. So I feel it could be dealing with a fire sign. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign that has a wounded, uh, I don't know, maybe this is a wounded ego or this person is in some sort of pain. They're in some sort of uh, predicament. There's some, there's people picking. There's people picking, so I don't know. There's pick, 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 pick. There's, look at that. I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't know if people are ridiculing, ridiculing you or somebody that you're dealing with. There's some sort of ridicule here. You look at those people, they're like laughing. This is a very strong individual, doesn't seem to be letting it bother them. So don't let it bother you. Or, or if you, I don't know who, the, if this is somebody that you're, it's interesting because before I started this, I said, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So maybe that's, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care who likes me. I'm strong. I'm strong. And maybe that's the, uh, the mojo that you need to pick up. You know what? Yeah. I've made some poor decisions. I've gotten myself into predicaments and I've, I've come out all, uh, you know, hurt and all that shit, but it's made me into a stronger person. It's made me into who I am today. I feel like there's people that are, that are picking at you. They're ridiculing you, but you have, you have come a long way. You've come a very, very, very long way. These people that are ridiculing you, they're bums. They're bums. Fuck them. Excuse my language. They're not your friends. They're not your friends. Misery loves company, right? Misery loves company. These people, they're miserable. They don't have a pot to piss in. You know what I mean? They, they, sucks I feel like you've been hurt really really badly I don't know if there's an accident here or something it feels like there's some sort of accident or you've been through some stormy weather but I feel like you're going through it still it's not over okay hurricane season just began it just started it's not sure as hell ain't over if you want to live in delusion and be like, you know what, it's not going to happen to me again. This already happened. Well, whatever. Go ahead. I don't care. Anyhow. Um, You're going you're gonna to have to overcome something. You are going to have to overcome something because there's going to be a tower moment. And you're not going to get any support during this tower moment. You're not going to get support. You know, people are going to be like, they're not going to be supporting you through this tower moment. I'm sorry, they're not. You're really going to see who your friends are and who they aren't. Absolutely, 100%. Page of Cups just fell out. Three of Swords, Three of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Queen of Wands. So we have two women here. We definitely have two women. We got somebody here that is, is uh, I mean, we got two women. Queen of Cups, we got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups. These two seem to be sparring. I feel like we have some sparring here. We have another woman. We have heartbreak, we have suffering, we have somebody saying goodbye, we have some, a departure here. Um, somebody may have a new love, they may have a, an admirer, you know, they, they are following their heart in a new direction. There's some sort of separation here. There is definitely a separation here. I feel like you're going to definitely need to be strong. You need to be very, 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 very strong. We have some heart issues, okay? Whether this is heart pain, could be, you know, uh, heart feelings, acting on feelings. Somebody's definitely going to be acting on their feelings. We have a departure. Get prepared. Get prepared. Somebody's leaving. 
They're leaving. They're going somewhere. They're turning their back on the on something. They're moving forward. They're focusing on the future. There's movement. There's travel. There's definitely travel or movement. Um, destination, change in destination. We have a painful separation here. There's two women. There's definitely two women here. Um, I feel like you're going to be in your feelings. I feel like you're going to be expressing your feelings. You're up against some stiff competition. There is some stiff competition here. Um, somebody, I don't know if somebody is falling in love with somebody else or if, they, if they're following, they feel like they're following their heart. I feel like this is a very emotional time. There's some sort of passion here. Passion, it's either passionate love or hate. Um, strong desire, strong desire, listening to your intuition. You're going to need to listen to your ish, intuition. Hold your head up high. Be very, 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 very strong. You're going to be dealing with some competition. Um, page of cups. That is a message, a message. You're going to be received. Somebody, I don't know if somebody is messaging somebody else. There's some, there is another woman here. There is definitely another woman here. I don't know if this woman is causing some sort of pain. There is heartache. There's grieving. Um, the queen of wands is mirroring the three of swords. Okay. The three of swords is grief. It's suffering. It's pain. Now you could be dealing with the fire sign that's leaving Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you may be leaving this and this could be sun, moon, or rising. Didn't we also have Virgo? We did. There's some sort of uh, painful separation here. And the decision, it's like the decision is, is made. It's a definite decision. Threes are a definite decision. There's no more indecisiveness. The decision has been made. Okay? I feel like a decision has been, there's no, it's time to go. It's time to go. Um, three of Wands. Traveling to a new destination, leaving it behind. The decision has been made. There's been a lot of pain. This is the end of pain, though, because it goes from the Three of Swords to the Three of Wands. That's leaving the pain behind. Oh my God! Four of Swords. Now, this is the death of a situation, it's the death of a person or idea. Okay, this is extremely exhausted, sick, fed up, can't do it. Uh, healing is needed, time to withdraw. This is uh, feeling dead inside, feeling empty inside. Definitely somebody needs to get sleep, they need to take a break, they need a time out. Healing is needed, leaving behind a dead end. I mean, to me this, I don't know if this is like a death or a funeral or something like that. Or, or you know, this could just be the end of something. Obviously, the Three of Swords is right before that. And it is literally right before that on the table. Because I was clarifying these threes. Um, so there is going to be progress. Somebody is moving forward. Um, goes from the three to the four. They have made a definite decision. They can't do this anymore. It's time to take a break. There's healing. Time out is needed. Solitude is needed. It's definitely time to uh, depart, whatever this is. Or, and maybe this is you just taking a vacation, taking a time out, or taking a break from somebody. This could also be, you know, something else, okay? Because that is the death of an idea or person to me. We have somebody here that is ill. They are ill. I'm not sure if there's heart issues here. They're ill, um, exhausted, extremely tired. You probably are going to be feeling extremely tired. Maybe you're just feeling heartbroken. You're definitely going to be in your emotions. You're going to be feeling really in your feelings. Very, very emotional. I feel like we have somebody here that is going in a different direction and they're leaving behind a heartbreaking situation and they're being ridiculed. It feels like whoever you're dealing with has been ridiculing you, laughing at you, making jokes about you, not supporting you. We do have a loss here, Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is a lost opportunity, a missed opportunity. This is a no answer, something slipping away. 
no stability, a loss of stability, a loss of security, losing something. So I do feel like there is a loss here. This is a lost opportunity. I feel like this is unplanned as well. It just happens kind of like the hurricane season. It just happens. Unplanned. May have something to do with a child. May have something to do with a female. Well, there is two females here. There is two females here. There's. It has to do with feelings. It has to. It could be with love. You may have somebody here that has a new love, and they're going towards that new love, and that's all there is to it. They're sick and tired of being in this heartbreaking situation, whatever this heartbreaking situation is. Three of Swords is heartbreak. It is definitely heartbreak. I feel like we have a rejection here. I do. Because we have rejection as God's protection and the Three of Swords is rejection as well. I feel like you're being rejected by somebody who has decided to go someplace else. They're focusing in a different direction. Queen of Pentacles, upright. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Pentacles, it looks like she's solid. She's stable. She has something of value. She's holding on to her value. She isn't giving anything. This is the queen of value, very domestic, very hardworking, business oriented. I feel like we have somebody here that is very, very focused on their money. They're focused on their security. They're focused on their stability. It's like, I have a lot to offer. Very grounded, very practical, holding on, holding on, not giving, not giving anything. So we may have a, we may have a woman here who's not giving anything but she has a lot to offer. This is the queen of value, right? She has a lot to offer. She, she's holding on, holding on, holding on to her stability. She may have secured something. So we may have a woman here that has secured something. She's getting it. She's getting the golden opportunity. Maybe it's being taken away from you and given to her. Because we had that Ace of Pentacles reverse, which is a loss. She's got the Ace of Pentacles in her hand. So this Queen of Pentacles may be receiving. She, she's obviously got the golden opportunity. This Queen of Pentacles has the opportunity. The opportunity for long-term permanent abundance. This is somebody who works, that works hard, generous. This is a generous person, very loyal and stable and solid and down to earth. So we do have a down to earth individual who is, I feel like she has the golden opportunity. She has the opportunity. Yes, yes. Very laid back, very, uh, this is a cook. This is a cook. This is somebody who focuses on their home, focuses on their business, focuses on their money. Keeps to themselves. Somebody is giving their, giving something to this Queen of Pentacles. I put it right next to the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords. Interesting. If somebody could be getting an offer, they could be getting an offer. You may be giving something to a Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, maybe a proposal. We may have a proposal here. For some of you, there could be a proposal. The end of suffering going in the new direction, the future looks bright. The future does look bright with that three of wands. It absolutely does. The four of swords next to the three of swords, that could be the end of suffering. You have some sort of stability. There's stability here. There is because the queen of pentacles is all about stability. So somebody is giving their feelings or they're expressing their feelings to an individual that well, the Page of Cups is Cupid bringing you opportunities for love or bringing you an opportunity that you will love. 
Whatever this opportunity is with the Queen of Pentacles, this leads to long-term abundance because the Queen of Pentacles works. She's a worker. She's the work, 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 work. Work for what I got. Hold on to what I got. This Queen of Pentacles is receiving something. She is. There's definitely some sort of suffering, though. Wheel of Fortune, or not Wheel of Fortune, uh, the star on the bottom. I don't know why I said Wheel of Fortune. It must be the Wheel of Fortune that was on my mind. Wheel of Fortune is positive change. It's also at the end of a chapter, the end of a cycle. Uh, being at the right place at the right time. But the star card is a card of wish fulfillment. It's guaranteed success. It's unexpected help arriving after a tower moment. This is like a fairy godmother granting somebody's wish. Somebody's wish has been granted. Somebody's been hoping and praying. They've been hoping and praying for something. They've manifested something. The Queen of Pentacles is a manifester. That's the, the Ace of Pentacles is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. They are going to be receiving an offer or an invite or, you know, some sort of new opportunity. After a tower moment. There is a tower moment here. There is. Because hurricane season is ahead. And there's more than one, okay? You might have one this week. You might have one in another week I'm just or two weeks or something like that because hurricane season is a season, okay? Queen of Cups, you're going to be in your feelings. You know something, too. I feel like you know that there's another woman. Expressing feelings, following the heart. You have some competition. You definitely have some competition here. There is some competition here. Death. Death. Endings that lead to new beginnings. This is a separation or a loss. This is a profound change, okay? This is a... An ending with a new beginning to follow. So absolutely there is. They, we do have the death of a situation here. We do. I feel like you've been ignoring your intuition. Right? You've been ignoring it. You knew this was coming. You did. But you, High Priestess Reverse, you've been, you've been ignoring it. You've been ignoring it. You knew that this transformation was coming. You knew that this ending was coming. Endings lead to new beginnings. You have a new life. You're going to be going on a new adventure. You're going to be starting a new, a new journey. You are. You are. You're going to be stable. You're going to be solid. You're going to, you're, you, there's nothing to worry about. There isn't. Your future looks really, really bright. You may have people that aren't supporting you. They're not part of your tribe, right? They're not your people. Fuck them. You have another opportunity here that can, uh, I think that you've manifested. I think that, and that's why this tower moment has to happen because you've been in denial with the high priestess reversed. That's like, I'm, I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to ignore this whole thing because, I don't know. Why? Major profound change. There is going to be a separation here, which breaks you free. <laughs> there is. There is. It's actually quite beautiful. Three of Pentacles reverse. I was asking why. Why have you been pretending? Why have you been staying where you're at? Three of Pentacles reverse. This is lack of teamwork. This is definitely not your people, right? Lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness. Um, not focusing, you know, lose, lost your focus. I feel like you're, you've, lo you've lost your uh, ability to put in any effort. You've given up. It feels like you've just given up. You just didn't want to put in the effort. You didn't want to put in the work. You've lacked energy and ambition, you know. You've, and you've been dealing with somebody that, or people that just totally, 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 totally don't respect you.
and there's and, the, and it's time to take action and I do think that action is about to be taken we have somebody here that has just lacked their energy lacked the energy to put in effort to separate so the universe is like okay you don't want to get your ass in gear you're going to stay in this situation that is draining you you know that isn't bringing you your wish fulfillment but you've been, been wishing and praying for all this you've been wishing and praying for something more i guess we're going to have to step in knight of wands reversed on the bottom now the Knight of Wands, now there could be a catalyst here. There could be a catalyst. Something could be happening extremely, extremely, extremely fast. This is forceful. It's forceful energy. We got somebody here that there's going to be a sudden departure. There absolutely is. You definitely have a sudden, somebody's going to be leaving suddenly. Some of you, maybe it's you. You may be the one. you either dealing with a fire sign. It feels like a fire sign, a water sign, or an earth sign. The end. The end of this life. The end of this, this chapter. You're going in a new direction. The wheel of life is spinning you. It's very positive, believe it or not, in a positive new direction. The future looks really, 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 really bright. It does. This is the end of suffering. You're going to be securing yourself. You're going to be feeling secure. You're going to have plenty. There's nothing to worry about. There really isn't. There's some sort of mother here, too. There's mothering. There's Because Queen of Pentacles is a mother. She's Mother Earth, okay? So I feel like there's, there's some sort of um, being taken care of here. We have the Queen of Cups as well, which is being taken care of. So there's, there's, there's love here. Maybe it's self-love, self-worth, self-value. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is about self-value, self-worth. Following the heart, knowing your value, going in a new direction, traveling, going somewhere. Some of you are definitely going, or somebody that you're dealing with is leaving. They may be giving their offer to somebody else. I mean, but now we got three women here. <laughs> we do have sick. We have somebody here that's sick. We definitely do. We have somebody here that's sick. They're ill. They may have some heart problems or they have some, or they've been, uh, we may have a third party situation here. Somebody has been cheating, whatever. There's something that we had, we have three threes. Okay. And, and so we could definitely have a th third party situation. Three, three, three is your prayers have been heard. And I do see that. I saw that with the star cards. Like, but the, the universe will answer your prayers the way that they see fit, not how you see fit. Okay. Definite decision. It's a time of growth. It's a time of expansion. You're going to be expanding. You're going to be going someplace else. Or there's a separation here that, you know, there's definitely a separation here. Death, the three of swords and the four of swords, is, I'm positive that there's a separation here. It's not working out. Three of pentacles reversed. Somebody, something isn't working out. Whoever you're dealing with, I don't know if there's sex involved, this person, you know, it's just they're having sex with other people or there's, they have some, and it doesn't have to be sex. It's a strong desire for a new life. There is one person here that has been extremely outcast and ridiculed with that nine of wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with, or it could be you. This person has been picked on. They've been poked. They've been pushed. They've reached a point where they have to hold their heads up high and walk away. You got to walk away from these people. They're not your friends. They're not your tribe. It's time to go. So I do feel like uh, it's about doing, being practical, grounding yourself, healing from some sort of separation. Some of you are going to be traveling somewhere or somebody that you're dealing with is going away. Good luck.